Across North Alabama, numerous schools are moving to virtual learning as coronavirus case numbers continue to climb. In Morgan County, Decatur City Schools reports 33 active cases among teachers and students. Way 31's Max Cohan joins us live now from Decatur after talking to district officials about how this increase could impact the approaching winter sports season. Max? The district has said there is no current plan to move the entire school system virtual, but District Athletic Director Watt Parker told me today even if the switch is made, it is their plan to continue playing, but he said even that plan could change at any time. We are going to go full speed ahead until we have to stop. And when we got to stop it, we'll stop it. As winter sports begin to ramp up, coronavirus numbers are causing concern. All year, Decatur City Schools has been working to put plans in place to keep sports like basketball and football in action. Both of the district's high schools were able to play their entire football schedules without any cancellations, but Parker said that won't be the case with basketball. I believe indoor sports will be a little bit more hit or miss than, than outdoor sports for sure. Um, and, and of course, you know, you can look nationally and statewide, we, you know, our numbers are going up as well. So it's, gonna, it's going to impact us. And so we're going to lose kids. I mean, we are losing kids. We've already lost some basketball games at the sub varsity level uh, already. The district's recently released winter sports plan outlines guidelines for fans that include masking when within six feet of members of a different household and restricting access to the floor level of the gym. Tickets will also only be sold online and only to about 20% capacity. Teams will be spaced and expected to keep their distance when not on the court, sanitizing and disinfecting whenever possible. I don't know, I'm kind of a positive person. I expect good things to happen, so I'm going to prepare for good things to happen. Now, we've got plans in place for not so good things to happen, but we're going to go forward just like it's all going to work out. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, if they tell us we have to stop, then we have to stop. Parker said that student athletes in quarantine will obviously have a larger impact on these teams with smaller rosters, but said that the winter schedule is more flexible and teams will more than likely reschedule games instead of just forfeiting them. Reporting live in Decatur, Max Cohan, Way 31 News.